Hi, I'm Catherine, the creator of Shia and the Jetsons Community Preservation of the Promised Land. Uh, give a shout out to Jaquan Buford. Thank you for donating uh, $100 for your donation. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let, let me just tell everyone about how easy it is. We are going to go to the Promised Land. This is very easy. This is very simple. You okay? Okay. Just just think of it as this. Now I'm talking to uh, my Patreon members and people who are on you know Telegram. Now, if you're not, you have to go to my Patreon. It's very important that you go to my Patreon. I don't know how. I have like a thousand, my, almost a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is great. Thank you. But you know, if you really want to see the information, you got to go to my Patreon. And and then if you know when I do. Uh, it's handed over the deed and the keys, which I will, because it's, I'm going to show you something that they have no way to escape this one. And in any, I mean, the, the time is going to where, if you look at Lisa Haven's new video, there's no more 911. <laughs> there's no more 911. Just go ahead and type her in. Just type in Lisa Haven. There's, she just announced that, oh, they're cutting back on the 911 call, so now you can't call then you have to then go ahead and type in Paul Bagley Paul Bagley just showed how they announced that you know everyone now can carry a, a con, you know a concealed gun on open it has to be out in the open everybody in every single state can carry it and it's got to be out in the open so everybody can see because you know it's true and, and they're right you know everybody it has to be out in the open so everybody can see so you know we won't get you know harmed it's like okay because if they could see that it's because i used to carry one in uh phoenix arizona right here you know a little small one but that was a long time ago and it was you know it had to be open you have to have open carry when you carry a concealed weapon you know so it has to be open carry outside in, in arizona you know you have to carry it on your hip or here so it can be visible visible of course so people won't come up and try to do stuff to you and you could be safe you know because we have predators out here of course that removed us from our homes in 1776 to 1830s and stuff so we are the result we are the result of 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 them but let me but let me just of them removing us from our home let me show you that remember when we were kids and we were nine and seven and eight and eleven and twelve and thirteen and and even in our 20s, we used to have white people that would come against us. And, you know, like little kids would try to fight us and stuff. And take they would steal, steal our bikes. They would try to try to fight us. You know, and I remember I used to stay, okay, because I lived in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And these girls, Becky and Karen, they stayed on Prospect Street where Gerald, President Gerald Ford in Grand Rapids, Michigan used to stay on Prospect Street where his family used to stay on Prospect Street. I stayed on Beulah. So right on the corner of Prospect and Beulah, it would be like like this these two girls, Karen and her sister name is Becky. I swear to you, I'm not playing. And I would be playing with my, you know, playing jacks. You know, I'm a, I'm a child. I'm playing games, you know, right here on the corner. And they would come up to you, you know, mm, you think you're hot shit, don't you? And we'd be like, you know, I'm like, damn. And I, of course, you got to jump up and be like, I don't think I'm hot shit, bitch. I know I'm hot shit. And then, you know, you have to. You know, mop them up, up, up inside the, you know, up and down the sidewalk. That's just how it be. So don't act like you don't know. You know damn what you know what I'm talking about. It be them white, when those those white kids that think that they can just bully you and just try to beat you up because you're. And this is why they want to beat you up because they okay their parents in their home talk about how we are indigenous. They actually went to school and they would come home and say, Father. So they're not from Africa? And then the father would says, no, they're not. They're indigenous. And from where? Right where they stand, they're indigenous. And we and we move, remove them from their homes. But you better not speak about that. Because if you do it ruin, it will be dead. If you speak about the truth that they're indigenous. So the white boys and the white girls used to go to school and that the ones who were focused on history and they got all A's in history. Those are the ones that will come against you and try to beat you up when you at home because they, they, they're they learning that how they came here to this country as criminals and they were supposed to have been executed by uh, by the British Moors because they came here, you know, 1776, Paul Revere, the British are coming, the British are coming. They're not coming to, you know, 
play uh, crumpets and tea with these people. They come to execute all of the entire white race. These people right here, Oklahoma uh, 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 Historical Society. Now, these people that the kids used to come in and, and, you know, and pick on us and try to steal our toys, these are the same people here. They just grew up, that's all. When they, when they went into history, we should have went in right with them. We should have stayed <laughs> with the history. When they was going to history getting all A's, we should have been right there learning. Because what they learned was, was that, hmm, what they learned was that we're indigenous. And not only are we indigenous, but they removed us from the most beautiful homes. You know, the rich areas, all the rich, wealthy, wealthy areas. They removed us from there and then they placed their homes there in the wealthy area. So I want you to look at, uh, this is the historical society. Now I had wrote to, now, okay, now this one I wanted to, I wanted to show you something. Now also too, if you don't believe me, go look at, look at Scooby-Doo. My brother wrote this one down, the one that with the fringes and said that, oh, you're the Wicked Witch of the West. They would think you're the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, he's the one that said, look at Scooby-Doo. That was the only cartoon that was really breaking it down, showing you who was really the criminals. You would see when they said, oh, that's just Mr. Peabody from down the street. Yes, the, the girls and boys that we used to beat up because they used to come at us crazy are these people here. They... They are the ones that stayed in into in, in, in history class and learned how how they took us over, but we didn't know that because we're the children that they murdered. Okay, so they murdered our great great grandparents and then left the children to fend for themselves to believe that we're from Africa because of the schooling that they gave us, they forced upon us. So the treaties was where they would give our great-grandparents the trees and then would kill the great-grandparents, leaving the children there. That's when you would look under, uh, well, they probably don't show it, but I have a, a thing where uh, type in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a, a gingerbread colored couple, black couple, Indian couple. They're Indians. Indian means black. Indian means uh, Negro. I'm sorry, not black. Negro. Swarte. Swarte is Negro. It's gingerbread. That's, that's Indian. It has nothing to do with Alaskan Indians from, from Russia and Mongolia. None of the Alaskan $5 Indians are indigenous to, to, this, to America. But let me show you that the people we used to beat up are these people right here. Because they was taking our stuff. You see this, this man here? Okay. These people right here. Now look at him. He, okay, if you could see. Is T. S. Acres. Uh, he he represents Oklahoma City. This one o represents Oklahoma City. Okay, so we're talking about the people that removed us from our homes. Look at this. These are all people who took over our lands. These represents all the land tribes that they. You see the land tribes here. If you could see, these people stole us from our homes. Just look closely. Okay. Tulsa. Remember the Tulsa, Oklahoma burning? She's responsible for this because she she holds it. Stillwater, where my grand, where my mom, my father and my grandfather is from Stillwater. They removed them from their homes, and I'll show you the deeds. Everyone has deeds. Look at these people here. Stillwater. They removed us from our homes. Okay. Here's Tulsa. This bitch got on some roughly shit. Look how she's smiling because she stole our clothes. Back in the day, we were in the castles. We were in we were in the ancient castles, and we had the the medieval clothes, which we made those clothes because they came out of here walking on all fours. Okay, we're gonna erase this coon bitch right here because she ain't did shit, because she's she's surrounded by these these uh, these criminals here. Now these criminals came here as Paul Revere's bloodline, and look at the look look at see you have to understand who these people are. They removed us from our homes. Look at that. This is where my great grandmother was. She represents where my great grandmother went to went to the treaties, United States Congress. They represent who removed us. Now, when we talk about what when we talk about damn, okay. 
Now, when we talk about who, who removed us, okay, it's these people here, okay? Now, who are these people? These people, look at, now, let me just read to you that these are the people that represent all of the areas that they removed us from, okay? This is where they removed us from. Here, let's 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 click on to this one right here. Him. His profile. Let's click click on his profile. Okay. These are the, okay, see how he's sitting? Okay. Obviously he's Greek. He's and, and he and he he now look at the uh, if you could see this closely. Do you see the statue here? He represents, this is a tribe citizen of the, oops. He claims himself, let me see if you can read that. He claims himself to be a tribe citizen of the Mesquite Nation. Uh, received a bachelor's arts history and master in museum arts studies, University of Oklahoma in partnership with historical societies. These are the people who removed you from your home, okay? And so they represent the Scottish right and the, where's the, Mas here, Masonic, Masonic, uh, here's the Masonic uh, Lodge. Let me see, here's the, the Kelk. Let's see, where is it at? If you could read it right here. Where did that go? Yeah, you read Freemason in Oklahoma. Okay, the, okay. Oklahoma Masonic Photograph and has since worked to uh, uh, catalog the graves of the past preceding grand officers of the of the York Rite of, of Freemasonry in in Oklahoma. A his last name he put his last name as Acres. Currently serves on the board of of Grand Lodge of Oklahoma uh, Museum of Library. Okay, so these people are Freemasons, Scottish Rite Valley. Uh, okay, so Scottish Rite, they, they're into all of this. This is now the statue. If you could see the statue, it's it's a black statue right here when he could have made this a white statue because this uniform represents who he murdered. These were black people in these uniforms that he stole. And these people we used to beat up at school. We used to beat these people up. We used to mop them up, okay? And they went to college. They stayed and they did their history. And they and these were the people that stole us from our, our home. Now, when we talk about the people we used to beat up and mop up every day and whoop their ass, it's these people right here. You okay? The reason why he's sitting there looking like that is because he stole our land. Yeah, this man stole our land, okay? And 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 he he and and they said that he'll be there till, till 2025. Okay. Well, that's good that you're there cuz now we, we can get at you because he's the one and all of these people I just showed you, the board of supervisors, they went into the most best areas coming out of Britain, coming out of and listen, when we talk about the Scottish Reich, they went in and killed the black Scottish because we are indigenous in Ireland. We are indigenous everywhere in Europe. So everywhere in Europe, we're indigenous too. Well, they went in coming out of the Caucasus Mountains, walking on all fours, grunting, didn't have no clothes on and no language, was cleaned up by the Moors. The Moors cleaned this white man up, cleaned his forefather up. Okay, so the Moors did that. Now, we used to, now, when they, when they were children, they would come and try to steal our bikes because they never had anything. Remember, they didn't have none. They would used to try to fight us and we would have to whoop their ass. These are the people. Now, they also became what you would call like some bullshit ass Illuminati. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, no, you not. <laughs> you ain't shit. Calling yourself the Illuminati, I don't think so. But that's what they call themselves. And no, no, they're not. We used to whoop your ass. And, okay, so now it's just interesting how 
you know, it's no more 911 now. And now all of a sudden, Paul Bagley talking about people can, everybody can carry guns? Okay, then. But I'm, I'm I, you know, this is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is the time is changing for, for people to be exposed for who they really are. And if they don't get it together, well, it's already too late for them anyway. Because, you know, Fauci has their children and it's rolling out even more heavy on these people here. Okay, so if you want to e if you want to uh, email somebody, you have to email these board of these. It's called the board of directors. And what they did was they represent the city you live in. They represent where they removed you from and they keep it historical. And that's wonderful because while they are dying by Fauci, they're keeping it historical. And we need them to keep it historical because it's our shit. That's why it's ours. And so it's just really important for people to understand who these people are. Just really take a good look at them because I had wrote to the University of Oklahoma, okay, because they sent me an email and it was, it's a University of Oklahoma for indigenous people. And so I emailed them. I mean, no, yeah, I emailed them because, you know, and I, and, I, and I showed them that I would like to go into partnership with them. The basis on the fact is that when you look at the University of Oklahoma, you will see that it is a dome. I mean, it's not a dome, but it's, it's a, okay, no, not that one. Okay, here it is. Now, see, see online. Okay, see how they, they wrote me, um, and this is what they said, because I went on the basis of, so if you can read that, okay. So they read, it's like, it says, I'm sorry that you haven't been able to connect about our online Master of Legal Studies for Indigenous Peoples Law. So, so legal studies, okay, so it says it right here, for legal studies, okay. And, and it says, I understand, you know, considering graduate school can be overwhelming. Okay, now, the problem with that is that I never even mentioned about graduate school. I said I wanted to go into partnership because the university that they have is, is, is trying to look at the castle. It's a castle. Castles represent what we had before. So basically... You built a castle there, a, a university, in 2005. And when they built the castle in 2005, they're saying the studies for indigenous people go way back as far as 1915. That's not way back. If you're saying indigenous, then that you're not indigenous. If you can only, your studies only go back as far as then you don't have, that's not a university of, of indigenous people. That is a university of lies because you can't see it. It says indigenous people right here. Where is it say? See, you guys read it. See, she, it, the person said it, okay. Now I was saying that I wanted to go into partnership, okay. Just read what I said. I, it's, I had not, you know, I didn't say anything about, um, okay, see, I don't want to read the whole thing, but you guys can read it. So I'll just, just pause it, read that. This is what I told them. And this is what, and then they wrote me back. They said, oh, oh, I'm sorry you, you couldn't, what did she say? Oh, here it is. It says, I'm sorry that we haven't been able to connect about our online Master of Legal Studies, Indigenous Peoples Law. That sounds wonderful. That does. It, it sounds like, wow, Indigenous people Law, that sounds good. The, the problem is, is that, you know, when you look at it, when you type it in, it's called uh, 
OU, Oklahoma University of, for Indigenous People. Oklahoma University for Indigenous People. Okay, that's what it's. Okay. I thought it was, when you look at it, you can see just nothing but $5 Indians and white people. How, they're not indigenous. None of the, none of you people are indigenous. So you have a castle that you, you know, you have like a Notre Dame castle. Like it's a college of Notre Dame. Ironically, it's the name of my street right here in the building. But anyway, <clears throat> Notre Dame, the, uh, the Notre Dame College here, you have it like that. Because back in the day, we were in the castles. We were the ones that built the castles. And it's proven, and I showed you on my other videos, that we're the ones that was knocked out of our cat. When we talk about Notre Dame, we're talking about a hunchback white creature, a creature man with a hunchback who went in full force to knock the woman off her castle, out of her castle, and then they lifted up this, this Notre Dame creature man as some hero when he was a creature man. So he came in bolting in, and it was a different one of those creatures that came in, bolted in, and, and, and knocked down the castle with the people and the black people and gingerbread people in it and everything. So that's what Notre Dame really stands for. It just stands for they raised some creature to kill the, the black people in the castle. Those were our castles. I will leave you a link so you can see Kramuro. He shows you exactly how white people created Frankenstein people, monsters, to go in and kill and remove black people. Look at Brass Reeves. He was a gingerbread man, but he was a Moor that built the police department and the mayor department of what it is today. And and he recruited white, uh, you know, creature people like Notre Dame, Hunchback Notre Dame, to kill us out of our homes. So they literally created AI Terminators back in the day to remove us out of our homes. Now, when we talk about the 400 year slavery ending, we're talking about that ending in 2019. When that happened, some things started going in back into reverse to where now they have to somehow, yeah, they have to actually die. <laughs> yeah, because it's too late. Because it's like, you know, type in Net Most Wanted. Shout out to Net Most Wanted. But type in netmostwanted.com on Rumble or, yeah, or Telegram or whatever. I, just watch it. And then you will see how you are, you know, the people that I just showed you who removed us from our homes, who represent the, the he, they represent the Tulsa, Oklahoma bombing. You can see different people there who represent only historical sites that they removed us from. And we're glad that they're there because now it's like, oh, now you, we can, we can email these people type. Yeah. So just, this is what you're going to type in. So you can email these people. Here you're going to, now don't we're going to get to the promise land because we're still waiting on that chino thing to come through what they are doing is they are having meetings about this yes they're having meetings about it okay because i told you nbc and abc has say stated on national tv we're going to look at what you're going to do to california about reparations which we're waiting on you gavin newsom and uh 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 the other mayor uh I don't know. He looks like a rat boy. What's his name? That man, uh, the mayor, Eric Garcetti. Okay, so when he was supposed to answer my call and answer my e answer my email about the reparation thing that I filled out at the uh, at the governor's office because I filled that out. I filled out the reparations task force that they asked, you know, and so I did that. So now they they have meetings about this now. Oh yeah, they they got meetings about this because. You, I mean, what are you going to do if, if, if divine, if you, they already know that time is up 400 years slavery ended. And so now they have to do the right thing. They got to do the right thing. They're trying to find a way to do the right thing without, without, without being murdered or something. Well, nobody's thinking about you just hand it over and no, see, see, we thinking about you now thinking about doing crazy stuff to you now because you didn't hand it over. But if you hand it over, why, well, how are we thinking about I don't know what, why they won't hand over the reparations that fast because I think it's out of fear. Like they're, they're, they're fearful of like, well, if we hand it over, they're just going to try to kill us. No, we, <laughs> no, we wouldn't. We would, 
we would we don't even want to think about you we don't want to ever see you as long as we live trust me when reparations and it's not even about reparations because reparations is not money you see reparation means that that you have to recognize we are standing on our own promised land you got you have to recognize that see we already know that's why we hollering and like we might be paying rent on and paying for food and water that's why we're hollering we're mad about that it's like wait this is our shit so you have to recognize that that's what reparations is you just have to recognize that we are standing on our own promised land now there is a family there's a family that got a beach you guys granted them their whole beach because you removed them and it's right here in california i don't know if it's doc waller beach but anyway you gave that family the gingerbread family a whole a complete beach because you know what you did was wrong you removed them from their homes and they showed proof that you did just like i'm showing you proof that these people here that i'm telling you about when i just showed you here it is these people represent oh okay these people represent let's go to the board of supervisors Where's the board of supervisors? Oh, here it is. The board of directors. Here it is. These are the board of directors. Okay. Okay, you see this? Now, type in um, Oklahoma Historical Society. So that's Oklahoma Historical Society Board of Super. Now, they represent what they... Re and they, they admitted it all right here, you see. It's just right here. You know what I mean? Board members, 13 are, are elected, elected 